In the last study of the day, we looked at green tea extract and fat burning. Today we dive into a study that looks at how to protect an aging brain and how to improve memory performance. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Ben, and thanks for checking out today's study of the day. This channel is for anyone with unanswered health questions, or for anyone who is expecting more from their healthcare. In this segment, I highlight relevant medical research that highlight common causes to common conditions, and share ways that you can act preventatively to ensure that you reach your body's potential. Today's study was a clinical trial that looked at whether resveratrol would improve memory performance in older adults. Let's get into today's study of the day. In the last study, we looked at green tea and, and how important it was to look at food as medicine. And, and this study today piggybacks on that concept. With every food choice we make, I want you to look at whether this food is medicine, whether it builds you up, whether it brings you energy, whether it heals your tissues, or if this food breaks you down, if it inflames your joints, if it degrades your tissues. Resveratrol is one of nature's most potent medicines. It has been found to improve insulin sensitivity, it's been found to reduce oxidative stress and free radical damage, it's been found to decrease inflammation, improve vascular function, activate longevity genes like FOX3, it's been found to lower blood pressure and cholesterol, and it's been found to prevent skin cancer in, in mice. Okay, let's look at the experiment. We've got the resveratrol group here and the control group here. Before they intervened, they took baseline measures of both groups. Memory, they took MRI neuroimaging, they took blood, they took vascular markers, and they took uh, body metrics. And then they introduced the intervention, which was 200 milligrams per day of resveratrol um, for 26 weeks or half a year. And in the control group, they just gave the placebo. And then after the 26 weeks, they did follow-up testing with the same measures, and they compared the two groups. Okay, the results in the study were pretty spectacular. In the resveratrol group, they found cognitive change they, they noticed an increase in retention words after a 30 minute recall. They also noticed that the volume of the hippocampus, which is an area of the brain responsible for memory, was increased. The third finding was that they noticed changes in fasting blood sugar, um, specifically their hemoglobin A1C, which is a long term measurement of blood sugar, um, went down, and their levels of leptin went up, which is the, the hormone that tells your body that you're full, that you're satiated. Um, and lastly, they noticed body metric changes in the resveratrol group. Their body fat went down, their BMI went down, and their blood pressure went down. So the group that was taking the resveratrol, their increased retention in words, their hippocampus volume went up, their hemoglobin A1C, their fasting sugars went down, their satiety hormone leptin went up, and then their body fat went down, their BMI went down, and their blood pressure went down. Again, this is 200 milligrams of resveratrol over a six month period. So the statistics are pretty grim with dementia and Alzheimer's. 10% of 65 year olds, 25% of 75 year olds, and 50% of 85 year olds will develop dementia or Alzheimer's in their lifetime. And the fastest growing segment of the population um, developing these conditions are 85 year olds. So there are a number of different explanations that you can use to detail the development of, of dementia and Alzheimer's. Um, but if you go on PubMed and, and do a search, these are the, the six factors that, that come up. Um, number one, air pollution. Number two, aluminum toxicity. Uh, number three, a selenium deficiency. Um, pesticide exposure, number five, vitamin D deficiency, and six, exposure to electromagnetic fields. So a, a new and emerging explanation 
um, to explain dementia is, is being called type 3 diabetes. And the association between diabetes and dementia can be explained by the, the commonality of insulin resistance. Um, so what's happening here in these, these cases is, is the brain cells are unable to take up the needed glucose um, that feeds the brain cell and, and the brain cell just simply dies. So what they found is that people with diabetes are four times more likely to develop dementia because of this, this common link. And this is one of the reasons why resveratrol is so helpful to prevent dementia because it, it lowers um, hemoglobin A1C as we saw and it improves and balances our blood sugar um, and therefore protects the, the brain. If there's any message I want to convey with this paper, it's that we have more control over the development of Alzheimer's and dementia than we think. The good news is, is that you can reverse and certainly create conditions in the body where you prevent the development of, of dementia by following some simple lifestyle um, advice. Support the detoxification of, of heavy metals, exercise daily, take in healthy fats, check your thyroid levels, lower your cortisol levels, aim for eight hours of sleep, and as this study showed, taking in one to 200 milligrams of resveratrol every day can, can really benefit and decrease your risk of, of de developing dementia. So it's often encouraged to, to get these phytochemicals through food, but this is one situation where it's really hard to get enough resveratrol through diet. Um, but some dietary sources uh, include peanuts, grapes, red wine, um, cranberries, blueberries, um, and dark chocolate. Um, red wine, for example, has 12 milligrams of resveratrol per liter. Um, so to get the 200 or 500 even milligrams per day, you would need upwards of 40 liters of red wine per day to get the therapeutic value. So you can see that it, it just does not make sense and it's not, not realistic to expect you get all the res resveratrol you need for memory protection through diet. So this is a situation where, where supplementing makes sense. Um, one of my favorite supplements is made by a company called Pure. They have a, a supplement called Extra Resveratrol and each capsule is 100 milligrams, so two to three capsules of that per day is, is a perfect addition if you're looking to prevent Alzheimer's. Thanks for tuning in everyone to my latest study of the day, um, the benefits of resveratrol on dementia prevention. Um, if you have any comments below, please leave them and I'll, I'll be sure to get back to you. If you know anyone that you think this would be uh, relevant for, anyone concerned about the developing the development of Alzheimer's or developing dementia, um, please share it with them. Um, if you haven't already, take a moment to subscribe to my channel and, and stay up to date with these studies. Thanks so much.